An ASL storyteller appears on screen. A man voices. A llama is not an alpaca and other mistaken animal identities. An animated llama and an animated alpaca with their tongues out spit back and forth. Written by Karen Jamison. Illustrated by Lorna Scobie. Animated book pages from a llama is not an alpaca appear behind the storyteller. Come along on nature hikes to search for favorite lookalikes. Study each and every clue. Don't let these doubles outbox you. Is this a rabbit or a hare? Check the ears out to compare. It's a hare. Hare versus rabbit. Hop to it. Hares are bigger and have longer ears. Their large hind legs move quickly to outrun predators. They live and nest above ground, while most rabbits nest underground. Butterfly or moth in flight. One's a creature of the night. It's a moth. Butterfly versus moth. Wings of flutter. Most moths are fly by nights, while most butterflies are active during the day. Drab-colored moths rest with open wings while colorful butterflies close their wings at nap time. Clam or oyster, hard to tell? Can you find the rougher shell? It's an oyster. Clam versus oyster. Surf's up. Oysters have a rough shell, while clam shells are smoother by comparison. Oysters settle in one spot, while clams move around on one foot. Only oysters make pearls. Turtle or tortoise? Got you beat? Guess who paddles with webbed feet? It's a turtle. Turtle versus tortoise. Slow and steady. Most turtles have webbed feet for swimming, although sea turtles have flippers. Tortoises are land dwellers with short, stubby feet. Frog or toad, now hopping in? Look for thick and bumpy skin. It's a toad. Frog versus toad. Croak. Most toads have lumpy, bumpy skin, and most frogs have smooth, moist skins. Frogs are long leg jumpers compared to the short leg toad. Puffin? Penguin in the sky? Which seabird can really fly? It's a puffin. Puffin versus penguin. Waddle waddle. Weighing just over a pound.
puffins are light enough for flight. The penguin is just too heavy, but its wings make awesome flippers for swimming underwater. Alpaca? Llama? Big surprise! One of them comes super size! It's a llama! Alpaca versus llama. Lickety spit! Llamas are almost twice the size of alpacas and have longer curved ears. Alpacas have shorter ears and chubby, furry faces. Both like to spit. Porpoise? Dolphin swimming in? Which one has a curvy fin? It's a dolphin. Porpoise versus dolphin. Splish splash. As a dolphin crest a wave, you can see its curved dorsal fin. A porpoise fin is shaped like a triangle. The dolphin has a longer beak too. Crocker gator? Be a sleuth? Guess who grins from tooth to tooth? It's a crocodile. Crocodile versus alligator. Say cheese. A crocodile's fourth tooth peeks out of its mouth when it smiles. Crocodile snouts are V-shaped and alligator snouts are U-shaped. Crocodiles tend to live in salt water, while alligators like freshwater habitats. Triple dare? Wasp, hornet, bee? Who's the roundest of the three? It's a bee! Wasp versus hornet versus bee. Here's the buzz. The bee is the roundest and hairiest. Pollen sticks to its fuzzy body. Wasp have skinny, slender bodies. Hornets are a larger type of wasp with a bigger head. Who mastered each and every clue? Results are in. The winner's you! The ASL Storyteller signs a series of words. Come. Study. Fine. Moth. Butterfly. Look. Surprise. Title. From a Llama is Not an Alpaca and Other Mistaken Animal Identities by Karen Jameson. Published by Running Press Kids. Copyright 2023. Video credits. Animation, Jason Nesmith. ASL Storyteller, Jake Fowl Martinez. Voice actor, Mark Cannon. Graphic, the CSDB logo. CSDB.org, 719-578-2100.